Hi, Zach Dobson with this week's Friday Photo Tip. Uh, this week I'm going to talk about shooting in the snow. Um, specifically shooting when it's snowing outside. I always like to get out and get the snowflakes falling and get some really cool shots like that because it doesn't come around too much where I'm at here in Indiana. Um, so the primary consideration is going to be your shutter speed and how the snow looks when it's falling. So if you want to have them frozen in the air, you want a faster shutter speed, something like 1 250th or 1 500th, something like that will get you uh, pretty good, you know, s frozen snowflakes in the air. Um, that's just kind of for like gently falling. If it's really blowing in and things are whipping in faster, you might want to see if you can get to more like a thousandth or something like that. This is a series of images that I took um, from one scene at different shutter speeds and you can kind of see the difference. These photos were taken at night so it's a little bit different. I couldn't really get up to a high shutter speed. So this first image, I'm um, starting off with the slower shutter speeds, this is 0.8 second. Um, so it, you almost can't even tell it's snowing. So as you start to increase it, you know, you get to like um, one fifth of a second and then you start to see a little bit more one eighth of a second and you can see just slightly a little bit more and then getting to one twenty fifth and one fiftieth and then one one hundredth now um, since this was at night I had to shoot at a very high ISO to get to one one hundredth of a second so if you've got any snow in the forecast, keep an eye out for that. Usually requires some advanced planning and being ready um, to run out at the last second because it can be hard to tell exactly when it's when it's going to come. So I always keep my camera out and uh, when it, there's snow in the forecast and I'm ready to run out and see what I can get. So uh, give it a try. Use hashtag ZDP photo challenge and I'll check out the photos, like, comment, share them in my stories. We have a past photo tip on shooting in the snow with exposure compensation. Uh, it can be tricky getting a good exposure with the snow. So check out this old photo tip. I'll link it at the top of the comments below and um, you can check that one out. Thanks for stopping by. Keep it real.